is Preeti from Analytics India Magazine and in today's video we will be talking about experts opinion on Elon Musk Neuralink. But first let's talk about Neuralink. In July 2019, Neuralink unveiled a design that involved tiny electrode threads into the brain as well as another device behind the ear. The new device must describe on 28th August is much smaller, does not require the visible ear design and would be implanted in the brain by a surgical robot under local anesthesia. The demo showed three live pigs among which only one had the Neuralink implant. Musk made a lot of bold statements at the event claiming that the Neuralink could cure blindness to paralysis in the near future as well as being used for entertainment, telepathy, supervision. Let's go ahead and see what the experts had to say about these claims. Let's take a look what Professor Andrew Jackson had to say. He is a professor of neural interfaces at Newcastle University. He says that he didn't think there was anything revolutionary in the presentation. But the fact that Elon Musk's team is working on the engineering challenges of placing multiple electrodes into the brain is impressive. He also mentions that in terms of their technology, 1024 challenge is nothing impressive these days. But he also went ahead and said that the electronics to relay them wirelessly is state of the art and the robotic implantation is nice. He said that the biggest challenge is figuring out what to do with all that brain data. He continues that the demonstrations were actually quite underwhelming in this regard and didn't show anything that hasn't been done before. There is a difference between recording brain cells and reading thoughts, especially when it comes to a higher level cognitive functions that we don't understand as well. To summarize, he claims that this is solid engineering but mediocre neuroscience. Moving on, Elon Musk's Neuralink was also reviewed by MIT Technology Review. Let's take a look at that. According to the article, the Neuralink is a neuroscience theatre and also that Elon Musk's live streamed event made promises that will be very hard to keep. The review mentions that despite the long list of medical applications Musk presented from memory loss, depression, insomnia, blindness, paralysis, brain damage, Neuralink didn't show it's ready to commit to any one of them. During the event, the company did not disclose any plans of starting a clinical trial, which would usually be the next logical step. It is unclear how serious the company is about treating disease at all. Musk continuously drifted away from medicine and back to a much more futuristic general population device, which he called the company's overall aim. Moving on, let's talk about what Dr. Tenor Ramesh had to say. He is a non-clinical lecturer in the Department of Neuroscience at the University of Sheffield. He says that the event was more of an expansion and clarification of what the event claimed about a year ago. However, he says that he is amazed by the rapid progress in the device architecture to enable a seamless prototype in pigs. He says that the best part of the event was seeing the prediction of the movement versus the actual movement. He also believes that the world would be a very different place than what we are at now, maybe in just the next decade. We've already done a video on the highlights of the Neuralink event if you haven't caught that yet. Do let us know what did you think about the event in the comment box below. With that, we come to the end of this video. Don't forget to subscribe to Analytics India magazine and follow this segment for everything related to data science as a career. See you soon. Bye.